And welcome back. The time now, 810. April is Alcohol Awareness Month, but do you know how much alcohol you drink and how it might affect you? Well, we're going to help you out with some advice this morning. We have Mary Ward and Steve Wyatt from Carolina's Healthcare System here to show some interesting comparisons of maybe what we consider a proper size drink and, and what how health officials view the proper uh, serving size for alcoholic beverages. So uh, you brought in a couple different things this morning to talk about, and you said you wanted me to pour a glass of wine that I might pour at home. That's right, Brody. What I'd like for you to do is just show us, if you were going to pour yourself a glass at home, what that would look like. All right. I'll, and I'm going to be honest here. Saturday night, I'm not driving anywhere. I'm on my couch watching a movie. I mean, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be honest here. I'm probably going to... Keep going here. <laughs> well, and what we're pouring yeah, actually this like, morning you know, something like I'd say is right juice. around there is okay. you know, but, but I, I'd say right about there, so you can see it at home. That's probably about typically what I would think, maybe you know, almost halfway up the glass there. Okay, great. Well, now let me show you what, according to the National Institute of Health, is a standard pour. Okay, which is about a half a, a cup, if you will, or four to five ounces is considered a standard pour. So this is a four ounce pour, which is a half a cup. Okay. And you can see here what that ends up looking like. I have a feeling it's not going to be quite as tall as mine. So <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I wasn't too, well, and I want to so at home, I wasn't too, too bad, but at the same time, it is a little yeah. higher. And I think that the point to make here though is um, you, that when you hear in, in medical studies, you know, one drink for a man, one drink exactly. for a woman, of course, they're referring to this size, yes, you know, yeah. the, the first size, which, uh, which you poured. Um, what are you going to compare this to? Well, again, it depends on the vessel that you pour it in, Okay. what that actually looks like. Yeah, in that glass, it certainly looks a, a little different. A little there. bit smaller. Yeah. And now that's the same pour as this one here? It is. That's a half an ounce. Now, what or about... a half a cup, Yeah, half rather. a cup. What about comparing one drink of wine versus one drink of whiskey, let's say, in this right. example? Four to five ounces of wine is equal to an ounce and a half of distilled spirits okay. or a 12-ounce beer, okay. a regular beer. So, so, And to put this in context for those of you at home, you, may, you know, how this affects your health. So, you know, real quick here, one drink, you know, what are some of the guidelines that, that, that you say for men and women that right. they might drink and consume per week? So the National Institute of Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism has determined over a number of years and a lot of a lot, a wide cohort of people that 12, uh, excuse me, 14 drinks a week for a man uh, keeps them out of risk of significant health problems uh, and seven drinks for a woman and then three drinks for a woman uh, at a single setting reduces their risk for any kind of traumas and four drinks for a man, same, you know, same idea. Yeah, and, and we're running low on time. I want to talk about real quick, though, some of the health benefits. And one of them that might be a cause for concern for folks is weight. What, what's the calorie intake like when you're drinking, you know, a serving, a, a proper serving of alcohol? Right. Uh, it depends on what you're drinking, of sure. course. But a beer is around 280 uh, calories. Uh, and so it's, it can be quite consi you know, considerable if you drink a number of beers. Uh, and uh, wine is less. And then uh, liquor, it really depends on what you're mixing it with, of course. Uh, the, the big thing is that these are really empty calories. There, there's no real nutritional right. aspect to it that would be, you know, sustaining health. Yeah. So, and then beyond that, typically people have a couple drinks and they're not going to go out and exercise. They're not going to, you know, they're just, they're just sitting with those calories. And, um, and in that way, there is significant weight gain. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming in. An interesting comparison. I hope the show and tell kind of gave you a good idea at home for the next time. You pour up a drink, just some of the ramifications for the size you're pouring and how it might affect your health. April is Alcohol Awareness Month in the Carolina's healthcare system, of course. You can find a lot more information if you're interested in reaching out and learning more. Thanks so much for coming in this thank morning. You. Really nice having you guys thank in you. this morning. All right, stick around. More news and weather coming up right after the break.